So what's crime like in the Philippines? I don't have the exact figures. I suspect pretty much like anywhere else in the world. It varies obviously if you live in the province against living in the big cities, just like any country. I've not seen any crimes committed myself since I've been here. But I do know of some crimes that have been committed. When I first came here, I don't know if you can see, there's a house there with a, a purple roof. We're just next door to that. Somebody threw a hand grenade in there. It was a dispute about something, I don't know. Thankfully, nobody was killed. Nobody was in the house at the time. The guy was apprehended, arrested, now serving 40 years in prison. Not 25, not 20, not half the sentence, 40. I know that for a fact. Another crime that took place, I heard about, was a courier delivery driver nearby on his motorbike. He was shot and killed by a woman he was having an affair with. I don't know the details. All I know is it happened. I don't know what happened to her. And the other crime I know about happened about six months back in the town where I go shopping. A guy, I don't know if he was, he, I think he was robbing somewhere. He took a, a female as a hostage and the police shot him dead. It was on YouTube at the time. So they're the only three crimes that I know about. I know there are, not here, but nearer to the town where I go shopping. There are some drug related crimes that go on. I hear from my wife, not so much Mindanao, but Cebu apparently is bad for drug crime now. Since they've got this new president, Marcos, the drug crimes have risen as opposed to the previous president that drove the numbers down considerably. So the drug related crimes are on the rise. But in terms of um, day to day living, if you keep your nose clean, you're not causing any problems, you should be okay. Now, I wear my watch when I go to town, nothing happens. If I was in a, a, a place like Cebu or Manila or Davo, I don't know about Davo, but General Santos, you know, the big cities in the Philippines, I wouldn't probably wear my watch. But here I feel safe. Doesn't mean you can't get robbed. You can get robbed anytime, anywhere, anywhere, any country. So you've got to stay vigilant. You don't want to display your wealth. You don't want to be wearing gold chains around your neck and around your wrist and Rolex watches or whatever. Because you're looking for trouble. And quite honestly, if you were walking in London, the instances of Rolex watches being stolen are pretty high. So like I say, stay vigilant when you're here. Don't look for trouble, and trouble, unless you're very, very, very unlucky, will not look for you. Now we have a dog, we have a Rottweiler. It's a female Rottweiler. We had a male Rottweiler puppy who'd sadly died three months odd back. We've got his sister now. And the idea is why I decided to take, well, to be fair, when we had um, 
the male puppy, we were going to get the sister anyway. But we decided to get the sister, even though he died, because we want to breed. The breeder that we got the sister from already has a, another Rottweiler, similar age. So when our female Rottweiler reaches the appropriate age, we will breed, make some money, but also get some more Rottweilers for ourselves. We have, um, it's for protection. Again, I've mentioned this before. It's about six months ago now, seven o'clock at night. Beyond our fence, there was a man, so it's dark at seven o'clock at night, there was a man prowling. Luckily, the builder who lives in the hut challenged him and asked him what he was doing. And he just walked away, he didn't say a word. Who knows if he was casing the joint? Why would he be right near the fence? You know, there's no need. There's quite a bit of land there. You wouldn't be right near that. And he was parallel to our front door. So he could have very well been casing the joint to see if anybody was there. Oh, that's another thing I forgot. Burglaries are high here, I hear. House burglaries. Just like where you're living now in the West, they're high here. So we've got the dog. It's not the dog I originally wanted. I wanted a Dogo Argentino or even a Preza Canaria, the, the real big boys. But you know what? A Rottweiler would do the job. Better if you have two or three, which we will have. So we've got the Rottweilers. We've got the CCTVs. We've now got the solar lighting outside, all around the house. There's only so much you can do. If you want to kill a dog, you can shoot the dog. You can poison the dog. But if you've just got some punk who's casing the joint, it's good to have some protection. In terms of ordinary dogs, I'm not talking the Mastiff, the ones that I've mentioned, because they're to me like the heavyweight boxers. But if you want a good, good middleweight, you're talking German Shepherds, Rottweilers, Giant Schnauzers, Akitas, American Akitas that is. I've heard they're really good dogs. Yeah, of course, you don't need to have a dog if you don't want. So yeah, the only real crime that I have heard, which isn't great here, are house burglaries. But it was the same in the UK. House burglar is the same. So you're going to get that anywhere, which is why I say stay vigilant at all times. But to be fair, if I was walking in central London nowadays, I'd have to be vigilant. Everything has changed for the worse. Every damn country. Because of the traitorous, fifth columnist, quizzling governments. Who would sell their grandmother for one and a half dimes. But in terms of coming to the Philippines should you be worried should you be really be concerned are you gonna get mugged are you gonna get murdered whatever no don't worry it's not like that I suppose at night time if you went to the wrong area on your own perhaps not good things might happen again if you're displaying your wealth on your body perhaps perhaps I don't know but overall it's pretty safe So don't fear. Foreigners aren't allowed to own guns here. Filipinos are under license. Obviously criminals, just like back home, have guns that aren't licensed. Life can be cheap here. You can order a hit for very little money. Very, very little money.
So guys, don't let the idea of crime put you off here. It's okay. Should be okay for you too. That's all.